Good morning, Minecrafters, and welcome back to another video. In my last video, I showed you guys how to destroy blocks at an incredible rate. So I think it's only appropriate that in this video, I show you guys how to create blocks from absolutely nothing. Let's go. In this video, I have three different generators to show you guys, two of which are going to work in both Java and Bedrock versions of the game. The last one is a secret one and only works in Java. So make sure you guys stay till the very end of the video so you can get your eyes on this super secret generator. It's gonna be super cool. Make sure you guys like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you like the video and comment and let me know how much you like the video. Let's go. Over here, we have three different generators. All three of them make a different block from basically nothing. Starting all the way over here, we have a cobblestone generator, toggleable, on and off. It generates cobblestone. Cobblestone comes down the line, and whenever it reaches this redstone torch, magic happens. The setup is super easy, super simple to build. The redstone is incredibly simple. So let's get started. All right, in this chest right here, right here, in this chest, in this chest right here, we have all of the materials we're going to need. The top row is in exact amounts for the simplified version of it without the uh, uh, piston, without the piston line right there. Basically, the simplified version of this only pushes out one row of cobblestone until the piston can't push it anymore. But if you wanted to do the regular, the the piston line and have it move, down here on the bottom is where you'll find those materials. All of the materials are inexact amounts. And the smooth stone right here represents building blocks, just any solid block, it doesn't matter. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do, slap a piston down right there. Next to the piston, facing into the same block that the piston is pushing, chuck an observer right there. The face should be there. Behind the observer, you're going to put a repeater on zero tick delay. Facing into the repeater, you're going to put another repeater on full delay, a solid block behind the piston, and then run your redstone all the way around to the first repeater. So boom, 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 boom. After that, we're going to come out. We're going to make a spot for our lava and our stairs. You do not want any of these three sides of the stairs to be open. You can use solid blocks. You can use trap doors, whatever will stop the flow of water, but also not burn from lava. So. Once you got the stairs down, you're going to shift click. You're going to dump some water right there into the stairs. And then we're going to grab our bucket of lava. And boom. And that's the simplified version of the cobblestone generator. It's super compact, really easy. The redstone is super simple. It's really cheap to make. Um, it will continue pushing out until the piston can't push anymore right about now. All right. So once the line of cobblestone reaches the end, you're going to break the block below the end and put a redstone torch there. And then you're going to break the rest of this line. So now we know where to stop our pistons. We're going to run pistons all the way down with repeaters behind them every one of them and then from this redstone torch we're gonna do dust dust repeater dust dust and then dust all the way down and that's pretty much it that's the entire cobblestone generator that's the entire machine minus the on and off switch which we're gonna slap this lever down right there on that block Flip it. Ah! Anyways, now I'll fix my machine. Thank you. We flipped the lever. The piston is extended. And now we flip the lever again. I love making blocks from nothing. Free blocks, free mats, free building materials. And there it is. You can sit here and mine. These pistons will push this row out 
uh, about 12 blocks, or as far as a piston can push. Um, and then you just mine it. Boom. Done. All right. That's the cobblestone generator. And moving on, we're going to do the basalt generator. It's pretty much the exact same design, except for a couple key differences. Instead of starting with a piston, we're going to start with soul sand, soul soil, soul soil, not soul sand, and blue ice. That's how basalt is made whenever flowing lava touches blue ice. Basalt is made. That, that's, that's the mechanic right there. So we're going to come out here. And step one for this one is to break a block in the ground, put soul soil down. Then we do our piston, our observer, the exact same observer circuit with a solid block. I lost my solid blocks. There we go. Let's throw that there. With a solid block behind the piston, we're going to run redstone all the way down. The exact same. Now, we're going to do the exact same shape here. We're going to put a temporary block there. We're going to put our blue ice right there on top. And slap our lava down, and it makes basalt. And then it pushes it out automatically. And then we put our lever on the back of this block, turn it off. And that's the whole thing. Super simple. It will just work. It will go until the pistons can't push anymore. And then it'll stop. It won't break itself. All you have to do is flip this lever once and then flip it again. And then it'll start again. All right. And moving on to the next generator, we're going to move out of stone and into something a little bit softer. We're going to automatically generate infinite white wool we're gonna make white wool out of nothing check this out what this is is a string duplicator funneled into auto crafters that craft white wool and you go up here flip this lever and then boom you got infinite white wool you can see the redstone lighting up down there. It's crafting wool. It's going. It's cooking. It's chugging. It's moving along beautifully. Let's build it. All right. And in this barrel, we have exact amounts of most of the stuff we need. Everything up here on top is exact amounts. Uh, the smooth stone represents any solid building block. The moss block represents anything that can be used to fill up a composter. And you need two water buckets, but I'm in creative so that's kind of pointless anyways all right now to build this white wool generator the first thing we're gonna do is slap down two auto crafters right next to each other each with a hopper going into the top after that we're gonna put a hopper into the side of each of those hoppers to make a four chain of hoppers we're gonna slap a solid block down next to each of these crafters and we're going to put a double chest right in front of them i don't know if you guys know but auto crafters have the ability to just insert items into chests without having to go through a hopper absolutely beautiful after that we're gonna slap down our comparators we're gonna build our auto crafting circuit before we build everything else it just it's just easier that way so to build the circuit we're gonna slap down two comparators each in subtract mode behind each of the auto crafters beside those comparators we're going to put another comparator with a composter behind it we're going to do that on both sides we're going to fill the composter up until it's just about to give us some bone meal and looks like that do that on both sides and boom now the next step is we got to put two solid blocks behind the comparators a repeater next to each of the solid blocks and then a redstone dust around the composter into the solid block next to each auto crafter. And that is our entire double auto crafter circuit completely done. So now we need to do the string duplicator. We're going to put a solid block on the side of each of these. 
We're going to bring this up too high. Then we're going to do blocks behind each of these. We're going to do three rows, three rows of four right there. And we're going to line these just the way they need to be. We're going to bring up the walls too high and make sure they look like this. This shape is important for the machine to work properly. And then after that, we're going to bring our temporary blocks. We're going to put our temporary blocks right here with some trap doors going into the top of the temporary block. Be sure they open like that. They both have to open like this, otherwise the machine won't work. After we get the trap doors on, we're going to close the trap doors. We're going to put a solid block on the trap doors, and then we're going to slap a lever right onto the solid block and make sure it works and make sure it opens both trap doors. After this, we're going to grab our temporary blocks again. We're going to come around. We're going to put them on the front of the hoppers with trap doors on top of them and make sure they're all open. These trap doors are going to stop the water from getting everywhere. Just FYI. After that, all we need to do is grab our water buckets, our trip trip wire hooks, our string and our shears. And then first step, water buckets, place our water buckets on the top furthest most back block. 1 2 then we close the lever and see how the water kind of levels off but is still coming out. That's important. That's what you want. Then we're going to slap our hooks into the back corners just like this. We're going to put string in both of them and then we're going to come up. We're going to shift click. That's what you want right there. That means it's going to work. Then all you got to do, make sure you have our recipe input to the auto crafters come up here and flip this lever and boom now you have infinite string which means infinite white wool and then you just walk away don't hear anything else turn on the basalt generator and then now you're making two blocks at once from literally nothing congratulations and thank you guys for checking out the video it really does mean a lot to me the support you guys have been showing on my videos lately is incredible. So thank you guys so much. Remember, if you guys like the video, like the video. Comment, let me know what you thought of the video. And if you want to see more videos in the future, subscribe and hit that noti bell. And I will see you guys next time. As long as it's with you.